Good evening. I heard Matthew is going to be a little spicy tonight. <laughs> Sperm everywhere. Yes. Hello. <laughs> hello, Satan. Hello, Hugh. Good to see you. Hello, Mrs. Carlet. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, you guys. So this is going to be a very casual, chill stream. We're going to hang out over on Twitter a lot um, because it's funny over there right now. But I think I found possibly foodie in the comment section, like fighting with a bunch of people. <laughs> My notifications have been going off on Twitter. I retweeted something and then this person is either like, I don't know, so far up her fupa or I don't even know. We're going to head over there though because I was being nosy and like I said, my notifications keep going off. <laughs> Hello, Penny. Hello, Great Bunch. Good to see you. Hey, everybody. Okay. So earlier, Foodie did a rage. We watched most of it. Um, She's truly just miserable. I can't imagine like ruining every celebration or every holiday because I want to be upset that reaction channels are talking about me. <laughs> like she truly is just miserable, a miserable, miserable person. Every single day that she, you know, rages at the reaction channels, it's truly like her drinking poison and expecting us to be affected by it. Like after she's done raging, we all log off and go live life. Like she's the only one still mad and still eating, you know? Hey, Candy. It's 100% her. I doubt anyone's up in them crevices like that Pringles lid. <laughs> Hello, Tia. Good to see you. Okay, so anyways, I missed her rages, uh, her community post rages. And we're going to go over them because everybody over on Twitter was talking about how she was lying and praying in the wrong direction. And then when she tried to correct us, like they corrected her again, and she's been very upset about it. She's also very upset about this picture that was floating around and everybody was saying that's like the daylight coming in. Well, she's trying to convince us that's a lamp. So I don't know. Are you guys looking at it? Can you see it okay? Zoom in. Does that look like the light of a lamp or does that look like daylight peeking in through the curtains to you? <laughs> she does it for views. Well, yeah, probably. Hey, Jenny. Um, okay. So anyway, she says, um, it's not daylight in this picture. It's called a lamp which has been there in almost every video mukbang. Also, breakfast fast time happens when it is still light out. The sun starts going down at that time for a bit, but it's still light out, so that proves nothing. Actually, it proves that people on this platform are so dedicated to try and find any nuance or hint that I'm not following Islam to a T. Here's an idea, oh righteous ones. Worry about yourself and leave Islam and Ramadan out of your toxic drama channels. Um, you're the one bringing it in your channel and we're just covering what you're doing. Like she tried tonight to convince everybody and she tried her, at her rage. What was it yesterday? She's trying to convince everybody that like we're coming after, you know, her faith and everything like that. And we're not. We're calling her out. And here's another little rage. Listen, DZ. OK, what did DZ say? DZ said, why is there sunlight and why Salah doesn't eat with you? This is sketchy. Next time, show the time when you break the fast. So Foodie doesn't like that very much. And she says, listen, DZ, who do you think you are that I owe you any kind of proof of fasting? Who made you the official fasting police? <laughs> you really have to get better. The official fasting police? Check my post below this one. It's a lamp and it's still daylight when the fast ends. 
only thing sketchy is a community of weirdos with their magnifying glasses out and still getting it wrong. Even if I showed the time when I break my fast, you petty, bored people will only, hold on, accuse me of manipulating the clock. I owe you nothing. Oh, and Salah doesn't eat with me when I do a mukbang. I've said it a million times, he doesn't want to be in the videos doing mukbangs. Um, so Twitter clipped a part during her live stream, by the way. He doesn't want to be in the videos at all with her until she gets healthier. It's clipped all over Twitter, you guys. He's, like, embarrassed of her. We're going to go over and hear that. But don't let me forget about it. Hey, Marin, it's a lamp, but maybe some sunlight coming in, too? Possibly. I, I definitely see sunlight, but maybe it is a lamp. Maybe. Maybe. Moth, ha, I made it. Good morning, or whatever time it is there. Hey, I hope you enjoy your cup of coffee. It is 10.48 p.m. for me. What time is it for you guys? Um, light sources do weird shit on camera. I see a lamp, but it's funny to see foodie rage. Okay. So maybe it is. Maybe it is. I mean, foodie can be right like once out of a hundred times, right? <laughs> um, anyway, so DZ really upset foodie. I just like saying, listen, DZ. I don't know. <laughs> Gives me life. And then she keeps going. Oh, and one more thing. I am far from bringing myself down to their level. In order to do that, I would have to make a hate channel and target one individual only, making hundreds or thousands of videos fat shaming, nitpicking, religion mocking, doxing, making fun of their family members, and defaming them every single day. Oh, is this going to be a long one? Okay. Um, when I point out their hypocrisies or pettiness or lies, it's always a rage. But when they sit there on a stream for hours yelling like psychopaths that they cannot stand me or make videos 10 minutes after I post to whine and whine, yet watch every single thing I do, this is totally normal behavior. Okay, got it. Anyway, going forward, I will not allow these toxic people to soil Ramadan with negativity. <laughs> Who else is doing that but her? I wanted to make a point, but in the end, it's just sad that the community only thrives on pettiness and bullying all to make a buck in their sad lives. I will pray for you. This Ramadan and inshallah, God will lift soft off that darkness in your soul. I don't know. Hopefully he does, and I kind of like the darkness in my soul today. It feels kind of good. How about you guys? <laughs> Logic said there's probably a clock stuck in her fupa. <laughs> she lives for this drama. Again, she makes this and I think she wants us all to be like upset or like, whoa, she got us. But like, I don't know. Like, how's your blood pressure? Okay, so what I want to show you guys is this little Twitter side drama I've been nosing around. <laughs> and I think the person Luna might be foodie because... Hold on, I don't want to lose my spot, so let me go to my phone really fast. If I miss anything, I'm really sorry. Um, Luna, when did you create your Twitter account? February 2024, and the at is LunaJ1994. Anyway, so this tweet really upset them. Can you guys see it okay? Eh. You guys could zoom in, right? Okay, so this tweet really upset Luna, who I think is foodie, or I don't know, Ghostface. I really don't know. So Salt and Sass showed what Salah said to K. Bella. Your eyes on the ground, your head down, don't look up. She says, yes, God. And he says, I'm going to grape you one day. Because he's so romantic. Um, so Salt and Sass tweeted it and said, ma'am, he also didn't say he dreamed of or fantasized about it. He flat out typed he was going to do it because Foodie was saying, oh, it's a fantasy. It's a fantasy. And um, people are trying to say like, oh, you know, it's kink shaming, which like for me and my personal knowledge, like I don't know much about anything, but like all the fetish stuff, right? Or like everything that they're trying to defend it and say that it is, that is all consensual, right? Between two people who are saying it's okay to do. And what he is supposedly fantasizing of is um, not consensual. It's wrong. It's wrong. And you can't pass that off as, I'm sorry, a normal kink to me. Like, whatever, if he wants to bark, fine. Like, I wish he sounded a little bit, like, woofier instead of, like, yippier. I don't know. <laughs> but whatever. Like, woofing, whatever. I'm just laughing because it's hilarious how he barks. But, like, grape is a whole other thing in my eyes. 
Anyways, so Salt and Sass says he didn't say he dreamed of it. He flat out said he was going to do it. And this was with him asking her to physically come to him in Kuwait. Right. And Foodie, like, is it a fantasy, too, if he's also asking her to come there until you get there and asking her, like, how much money she makes? Um, he was really interested in that. Like, I don't think it was all, like, make-believe and pretend like you want it to be. So this really, really upset Luna here in the chat, or not in our chat, anyways. <laughs> Luna was very upset. Stella! Hello, Paulina. Um, agreed. Right. Pooping. <gasps> Austin! Pooping and graping is nasty, Austin said. Mandy, thank you so much for the super sticker. Hold on, let me run back to YouTube so I could see it. Because I can't see it on stream yards. Oh my gosh, the little lemon is so cute. Thank you so much for the super sticker. Thank you, thank you. Hi, everybody. I missed coming in. And Matthew said, consenting adults behind closed doors and all, but if your nasty kinks get out to the public, I reserve the right to laugh at them. And I respect that, Matthew. Greek girl said, yes, there's something very wrong with that man. Agreed. And he has nasty feet. So anyways, so Luna said, do you not also find it weird that Cabela hearted the damn message? She was freaking unhinged on Twitter here too. Foodie, Cabela, Salah, and the whole lot of you who chant woof, woof. <laughs> like zombies are all weird as F, not a sign of intelligent life anywhere. Woof, 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 woof. All right. So Salt and Sass said, I think at that point she was paying to get more or playing to get more, not paying to get more. Sorry, playing to get more, not denying she has some stuff going on. But I do believe when she said she was intentionally leading him on for more. I believe that too. I believe she was leading him on, trying to get more stuff, like trying to get more out of him. Luna, Luna said, super ethical, right? Lying that you like someone for the lols. I have watched this shit for years, but Girl World has turned into a sea of people mad at a fat woman they don't know with nonstop virtue signaling to boot. You're all nuts, just like foodie to boot. I don't know. I've always wanted to say that though. So I guess I finally got to. Salt and Sass says, why right? I don't know that anyone here said she was being ethical. Salt and Sass also says, I also don't think it was for lols. I think she was trying to bust Salah because she and Chantal had beef. She's been a beezer. I don't know of anyone here who co-signed this was funny. On the contrary, many have said it's deeply disturbing. Luna who I'm really thinking is foodie says, I don't think what Salah did was disgust or disturbing. If you could know the personal thoughts of most men, you would be shocked. Salah is a cheater who was stupid enough to get duped by a nuts beezer who pretended to be into grape role play. All effy shit. Luna also says, and you all take these dumb F lives way too serious, which also makes you like them in a way. Maybe it's not foodie, but who is it? Pissy? Salt and Sauce says, you're entitled to your opinion. And then Luna keeps going, why do you obsess over her? Why not just laugh? She's not Jeffrey Dahmer. She's a narcissistic fat woman. Way less of a big deal. Okay. Offred said, I'm not obsessed. She's just my entertainment, along with the stands for her. Luna says, being happy foodie is on death's door is a little more than entertainment. I don't like her, but I don't go that far. Oh my gosh. It's like, Luna, are you okay? You think it's her? Leslie said pissy. Logic said it's pissy. He said, funny how I worked with men who spilled the beans and still work with men at their lowest. And they say, I'm having a fet scat fetish. Isn't that normal? I don't know. I mean, yeah, if it's not foodie, it's a foodie stand, which is sad AF. I'm glad you're reading all this so I don't have to. Well, I think they're still going. Anyways, let's keep going. So Alfred said, who said I was happy she was on death's door? Or she said she was, is on. I can't convince her to stop eating herself to death. The entertainment is her gratification. Nothing to do with her being a death fat. Salt and Sass said, they're just assigning stuff to people and thinking they smugly did something. It's amusing. Just run with it. Then Amy Flower said, you do know you are talking to someone with zero followers, right? And then Luna says, like, internet points actually matter? Offred said, internet points? What is internet points? <laughs> 
how do we get internet points? I want to play. Like, do I have points right now? And how many do I have? <laughs> hey, Aaron. <laughs> okay, so Salt says, said, oh, wait, what did I just do? Look, run them in circles a few times, get them exasperated. Then they begin to get mad and break out the caps. It's fun. Okay, Amy Flowers said, you think you found yourself a live one. No followers even. Let's see how long it sticks around. I think it's still sticking around because I have 15 notifications. So, okay, let's keep going. Luna says, is this stupid rhetoric exemplified in these two tweets that sums up the collective IQ of Girl World? Um, Amy Flowers says, so your friends could back you up right now, JSC. No friends. Keep trying, though, but I think Girl World will flick you away regardless. By the way, the collective only exists in Star Trek. You are in the wrong room. <laughs> Luna says, I don't need backup. I'm not a pussy. You all just look each other's asses. I'm not like that. I say what I want, even if nobody else does. Luna. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Luna is so worked up. Annie Flowers said, is Luna short for lunatic by any chance? <laughs> I find this way too entertaining right now. I don't know. This is better than like Vanderpump rules for me at this moment. Right, Logic? It has to be. <laughs> okay. Um, Luna says, that's the best you got? Amy says, why would I give you the best I got? You're not worthy. Luna says, it should be easy to know if you were actually capable. <laughs> Amy says, aw, someone needs a cuddle. I clearly said you were not worthy of my best. Oh, I am very capable. I'll just allocate my resources to those who deserve it, not those screaming in my feed with no followers. <laughs> Luna says, you spend an awful lot of time explaining why your digs suck instead of actually being good at them. Amy says, LMFAO says, who? You and all of your friends on X? <laughs> oh my gosh, maybe I do need a life. Like, this is so fun to me. Jenny said, I got to make a new Twitter just for the girl world stuff. <laughs> okay, so Salt and Sass says, maybe the ones with internet points? LOL, I don't know what the hell those are, but they like the term. <laughs> In my book, Amy's scoring, like, all these internet points tonight. Um, okay, so Amy says, internet points, LOL. I don't know where this one thinks they are at the moment. I think it's a lunatic or a new breed of annoying blood-sucking bugs that one flicks off and kills. <laughs> So it says, says, I don't know, but they're getting irritated. I'm going to need some popcorn. And then they say, hey, have you all ever put dill salt on your popcorn? It's next level. So good. Oh, my God. That actually sounds really good right now. Um, okay. So now they're talking about popcorn. And then Luna says, are you guys Facebook moms? <laughs> Facebook moms. Facebook moms? Okay, Alfred says, what the hell does that mean? Again, grow up, chin stands. Is that a new insult? Are you guys Facebook moms? <laughs> oh my gosh, these insults. That's kind of like leading me towards, is it foodie? She has the worst of them. Okay, so then Luna says, you guys are corny AF, like Facebook moms, oversharing shit nobody cares about. Why do I care about effing popcorn seasoning, Karen? <laughs> Why do I care about effing popcorn seasoning, Karen? <laughs> okay, all right, Alfred said, well, you seem to care, you wouldn't stand for chins. <laughs> Gosh. Luna said, read my tweet. Chantel is a narcissist and you all aren't acting much different. Amy says, well, that isn't getting you any closer to sharing popcorn, is it now? <laughs> so it says, maybe we should switch to ice cream. Popcorn makes them irritable, but no toppings, just straight flavors. I'm thinking mint chocolate chip or banana pudding. Amy says, ooh, mint choco chip sounds heavenly right now. Okay, it really does. They're making me hungry. Luna says, they couldn't refute the argument, so they just talk about food. 
<laughs> Alfred said, what? Are you okay? Have you taken your meds? Do we need to be concerned? Luna says, you have nothing the minute you tell a random account they need to take their meds. Like, I think you might need to, Luna. Um, but okay. Alfred said, I'm just concerned a person talking mentally is safe. Salt and Sass says, they thought death fat was a term we cooked up to celebrate Chantel's end. You're safe. They'd struggle in a paper bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. Erin, I got hooked on this little side drama on Twitter. Like, oh my gosh. And it's the funniest thing I've ever read. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. Um, foodie looking for a sandwich, vanilla and dark chocolate swirl ice cream. Oh, that sounds really good right now. That sounds really good. Isn't this so good? Okay. So <clears throat> Luna says, no, I said using it is wrong. It's derogatory moron. You deserve that insult because I am being ganged up on and all bets are off. I'm having fun with you. Left IQ bell curve fools. They so they sound like foodie in the aspect of like salt and sass, and the other person are clearly like having a fun time laughing, and they're the only one upset, like the only one. So Alfred said again with the insults, keep showing your true colors. You deserve all you get. You opened your mouth. You are where you put yourself. Salt and sass says, who's gonna tell her that derogatory term came from the fat positive community as a tongue in cheek reference? Okay, they keep going. Amy says, no, nah, let her stew while we eat popcorn and laugh at it. So they keep going. Okay, what does Luna get upset about again? Um, Salt and Sauce said, they just reminded me of a meme we saw at work. Someone had put a Buzz Lightyear toy up their bum. Caption read, you have a friend in you. <laughs> Luna said, better alone than having see you next Tuesdays like you as friends. And worse yet, virtual and not even real. Oh my gosh, not even real. Amy said, oh, well, now that you brought up the C word to our table, excuse yourself. That's rude. Salt and Sauce says, it's fine. It's an interesting word to use if one is not mad. And then I think Luna was still going off. Well, let me stop sharing for a moment and refresh. Because now I have 20 new notifications. Oh my gosh, Offer just said, the internet points bring all the crazies to the yard. <laughs> I'm going to have that song stuck in my head now. Okay. Oh, Luna's sure janning people now. We went from calling people to Karens. Now we're sure janning people. Okay, hold on. I know they're automatically being the victim again. Yeah, okay. We're back in the fight. Well, it's not really a fight, but Luna wants it to be. All right. So Alfred said, again, with the info insults, keep showing your true colors. We read that. Luna says, I'm having fun. Smiley face emoji. Are you? Devil emoji. Alfred said, absolutely, I'm having fun. I'm here all night. I hate people who stand for an animal abuser, a pedo, and, and mock kids being shot. Luna says, I don't like Chantal. Keep living in Delulu land, my bud. Amy says, who's to say you aren't chins herself? They protest too much. Luna said, you people are, are seriously demented. Alfred said, you are where you put yourself, sweetie. And Luna said, not if you all hate me. Sounds like I'm the opposite. Salt and Sass says, and. Luna says, and then. All she could think of was the word and. <laughs> Maybe it's pissy and foodie like switching off. I don't know. <laughs> Alfred said, so are you looking for a fight? Grow up and go put your queen's chins. Um, Luna said, I got all three of you bitches mad. Um, do you guys think anybody is mad but Luna? This is, this is why it sounds like foodie to me. Logic said, I hand out the internet points. I hide them around the internet and brightly colored eggs on Easter. That sounds so fun. I hope I get all the points, Logic. I hope I win this year. Flower said, it sounds like foodie. It does, right? I go back and forth, though, from thinking, oh, well, it sounds like the other person for a moment. And then, nope, it's, I don't know. It's sounding more and more like foodie, though. So, Alfred said, so you were looking for a fight. Grow up. Oh, yeah, we read that one. And then Luna says, I got all three of you bitches mad. Alfred says, LMFAO, no, sweetie, you didn't. We are all messaging, laughing at you. 
another mental chin stand. And then Luna does the sure Jan. And then Alfred said, oh, look, it used a sure Jan meme. And he says, very skilled. And then Alfred said, the internet points bring all the crazies to the yard. So I don't know. That's where we're at with that, you guys. Let me pull up um, the rest of the tweets I wanted to talk about before I got um, sidetracked with that fun little side project. Um, I don't, it sounded like foodie. I, I'm convinced right now it's foodie. <laughs> I might change my mind again. <laughs> Chins, we see you. Uh, Bethy said, I want to see a foodie versus FFG box, or boxing match. I think FFG would totally win. I don't think it would be a fair fight. Like, Foodie talks a lot of shit, but I don't think she could ever back it up. <laughs> Foodie seems bored. Where is Salah? I don't know. Hello, Miss Fans. Breezy was quiet. She was hella invested. I was. I was. I was trying to figure out who it was. Okay, I can't stay on this tweet very long because, well, I mean, there's peeps covering the nips, so... Um, I'm sorry in advance for all of what you guys are going to see tonight, okay? <laughs> he said I would purchase a ticket. I know. We should get, like, all front row. We would all buy tickets, and we could be front row and share all of our snacks, like all the popcorns, and we'll try the dill pickle stuff that really pissed off Luna. We'll make it a whole event. I'll bring the Sour Patch Kids, too, and the mini eggs, and the mini eggs. <laughs> hey, Jinx. Salad is in his apartment. Yeah. I mainly want the match so we can get an accurate weight. <laughs> but actually, yeah, that would be interesting. We finally get an accurate weight after all of this time. Hello, Lisa. Good to see you. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to run to my mini fridge and get a sparkling water. You guys go get us like Diet Coke or whatever you need to get to. I'm going to get, I got this new stuff. What is it called? Poopy Poppy. Anyways, I'm going to run and grab it really fast. I'll be right back. And Greek girl is sitting right by me. I know who's sitting right by me for the boxing match. I know. <laughs> Logic's on the other side. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I don't know if this poppy is all that amazing as I thought it was going to be. I mean, have you guys tried it? It's okay, but like, I don't know. I thought it was going to be, let me try it again. I don't know. It's just okay. I mean, it has prebiotics in it. Maybe I just don't like the flavor. I'm trying the cherry limeade. Maybe that's just not my, like, cup of tea. Salad is busy trying to scam other women for money um, to update his Timu car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bring it on, girls. About to light and infuse. Awesome, great girl. See, you fit right in here. All right. So I'm going to traumatize you guys for a bit. If you haven't seen Foodie's Peeps picture... I can put it up about right there. God, I hope I don't click on it and make it bigger, though, because I need to play this clip. But I think we're good. <laughs> Anyways, so she was saying how she doesn't like peeps. And um, here's some of her OF pictures where she had a whole moment with them. And then this clip right here. Oh, I hate, I know I don't like peeps, the taste. Oh, but you I do. Hate, I, know I don't like peeps, the taste. I don't know. That might be the only thing I have in common with you. And then here's this one. Jeez. The other one, um, I'm going to spare you from zooming in. But there you go. All right. <laughs> there you go. Um, Kim Impossible said, so we're just going to be going through like a bunch of random tweets, but I have like a hundred of them. 
to go through. Dude, that doesn't even look like chins. I know it doesn't. Poor Matthew. I'm so sorry. I probably just killed your buzz, didn't I? I'm really sorry. <laughs> Who actually likes peeps though? Do you guys like, uh, I don't know. I think they're so gross. Abby. Yeah, that was the OF stuff. Oh, there's worse than that. There's one there where she's like in the middle of the road. There's one with like red bath water. I don't know. Erin has a whole variety of them. Just ask her. <laughs> Just ask her. Um, okay, so I thought this was interesting. And I didn't have time. I was actually, okay, let me just read this tweet and then I'll elaborate um, as much as I can. But Kim Impossible said, do any of y'all remember the phone call from Sam's Bar Lounge when Dee Dee told the person on the other end of the phone not to come back? Okay, that was Chantel. She was on the phone with. I'm telling y'all Chantel is Sam's Bar Lounge. Let me see the reply. Grandma Spud said, very likely nothing shocks me anymore. I mean, it's definitely a possibility, but I'm trying to remember, like, I got a bunch of privacy strikes on videos one time, and, like, Natter was doing it, and then I got one um, for covering something regarding Sam's Bar Lounge, and the part that they were mad about was a name, and I can't remember if it was a like, am I allowed to say it? Well, you know, I'm just going to throw names out there because I have to go back through, all, like, it's really far back. To, I have to go through a lot to find this email. But it was like a random name, like a Jessica or a Jennifer, or it was like a name like that. And that's what they, pri they did the privacy strike with. So I don't know. It was like a random name. I'm just throwing names out there. It was a random name. Um, so I thought that was weird at the time. They're marshmallow chicks we have in the States around Easter. Yes, and they're disgusting. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like when I was younger, I used to like them. But as an adult, I find them really gross. Um, throw a bunch of names in one. It was like, I don't know. Just think of a, a James, a Jesse. It was like a random ass name, a random name. Cool sounds nice. Thank you, great girl. Not seeing them in the UK. I mean, you have to really like marshmallows, I guess. Second one, I don't know. I can't, maybe, makes Natter is Breezy's paralysis monster. <laughs> Peeps are like fluffy virgin. Yeah, they're, I don't know. They're like right up there with candy corn to me. Um. Anyway, so I don't know. I found it odd. I can't remember what the name was, to be honest. Like I said, it would take me a while to like have to go back and find it. But like, if it wasn't, like if it was foodie, why would a random name that has like, that's not Chantal or anything like that, um, why is that worth a strike? You know what I mean? Um, anyways, Highlight Grocery says, Bally is such a humanitarian. She wanted to give Natter her restaurant and apparently be Foodie's travel manager. That would be wild. I, I can't imagine, like, out of all the things, like, why would you offer Natter a restaurant? <laughs> like, whatever, have a fantasy of being Foodie's travel manager. I don't think she's going to be traveling much in the future, but, like, you really wanted to give Natter a restaurant? That's wild to me. Oh, I forgot this was still on our screen. Um, Aaron, I failed at sleep, so I ate half a brownie. I like candy corn. Do you? So does my sister. I don't know. I think it's, like, very gross. I also don't like circus peanuts. But I can't be so judgy because I like a candy that everybody else thinks is disgusting. So um, what was this about Vanderpump Rules? Oh, it's, I don't know if you guys watch that show, but like I'm addicted to Vanderpump Rules, everything Lisa Vanderpump, I love, I just do. Um, but anyways, it's a whole like little thing where Lala says that her and Katie Maloney had a whole off screen falling out before the season 10 reunion, that something had happened and they just couldn't recover. And last night, I, or I guess it was today I finally saw the episode. Well, yeah, it was tonight. Um... I noticed that like Lala's been standing up to Katie and Ariana and then it seemed like she was really going for Katie. So I don't know. It's interesting. I'm really hooked on that show. I don't know about anybody else. I'm also sick of hearing about um, the cheating scandal. I don't know about anybody else regarding that. I do like black licorice. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, you're behind. That show is so good. By the way, I hate drink tea. It makes me gag or it makes me drag. I'll, yeah, I'll have the undercooked chicken with a side of Dee Dee's kitchen fireplace. 
<laughs> Sora says, I can't imagine any of the Mega Ham's exes are current naked. Oh my gosh, no thank you. No thank you. I don't want to picture that. I um, am in a really good mood. So what is this though? Hold on. Oh, it's people talking about, well, we were talking about this the other day. How before, when she would show us out the window, it was just a parking lot and the um, ocean, right? There wasn't buildings that were there before. And then many people have been speculating that this is an Airbnb. They even posted um, like similar photos to like places that look like this that are Airbnbs. Anyways, did these buildings just pop up overnight or how did that happen? So just me said they must have built these buildings fast and on water. She's in a different place. These definitely weren't there before they weren't. And how are they on water? <laughs> how are they on water? You guys are talking about candy and you guys are making me hungry. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see where else we end up. Oh. Oh, it's Foodie lying in her live tonight. Your mom's stream, um, a crappy reactor say, and she didn't pray in the right direction last year. What? You're, this is just lies. Like, flat out lies. We weren't even in this apartment last year. I'm. But. Wait, but out that window, we see a part, we do see buildings. But Hidden Truth said, so she lies again. She was in that apartment last year. Wait. We plan on making this room. But that's a different room then, right? A content room. Like a spare room for us. Living room area. This is the front door area, right? And here is Salah's gaming station. And this here is your mama's stream, um, a crappy reactor say, and she didn't pray in the right direction last year. What? You're I don't know. I guess that was a different room because that was the content room, right? What do you guys think? It's the room, but it's all facing the same place. I don't know. It's a mystery. Did I just... Oh, wait. I think I just got us out of where we were. Hold on. I have to stop sharing because I don't know what's going to pop up. Because foodies OF picks pop up all over the place. Hold on. And I want to see if Luna's still going. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Luna stopped. But Amy said she should be thanking us for making her notification while Philip was zero followers. Oh, wait. Did Luna reply? Amy cracks me up. Offred said, I want to show what a total full chins have in followers. So this thing is a prime example of what the scum of the earth is. Luna, where are you? Did you go to bed? Luna said, your grammar is garbage. <laughs> your grammar is garbage. Um, you're sticking up for... <laughs> Luna is watching. Hi, Luna, a.k.a. Foodie Beauty. <laughs> Luna is keeping me entertained. Hold on. This is Luna's Twitter. They aren't following anybody. They have zero followers. Joined February 2024. And they really were upset about this tweet. About Salah. <laughs> really upset oh my gosh it's yeah the replies are all just to offred and salt and sass i mean luna should be really grateful they have kept them like busy and entertained and probably company because we know foodies lonely salah's at the red room okay let me pull up my twitter again give me one second what sounds really good right now is a mashed potato sandwich, but I don't need the carb overload. Luna is eating a huge sandwich, and Matthew just gave Luna an idea of what to eat. All right, hold on. I got to pull me back up. Let's go back to safety. Well, I don't know that any of this is safe, but especially we're going to be talking about Salah in a little bit. I kind of feel like hearing his Ramadan song just to laugh. I don't know. I'm sure that's going to make somebody mad that I said that. All right. Where am I? No, take me back to my face. Hello. All right. Here we are. 
All right, let me give you guys a view of Twitter again. She says she only watches, she, she does not only watch Yo Mama. For one thing, she knows everything we say over here. She knows everything FFG talks about, and she knows everything everybody's saying about her on Twitter. She's been addressing it left and right lately. So, foodie beauty is Luna confirmed, in my opinion. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I don't think, I think she's moved several times. That's my opinion. Um, okay. Can you guys see this? Okay. Nightmare, you have beach. Can I come visit? Safer than foodies blood pressure. <laughs> she says, oh yeah, I'm not an ice cream fan, but you're eating some. What kind are you eating, Mandy? All right. So Nat said, I'm sorry, but body language doesn't lie. You can tell that he is forced to hold her hand and that there's absolutely no chemistry slash attraction slash love between them. It's all a facade. He's also full of himself for no reason. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't scream like I want to rip your clothes off later to me. Um, but what do I know? I'm over here single. <laughs> She does look ridiculous. I'm telling you, she's just a dressed up tick at this point. The sun and sand and all those black clothes. I know. He said, I literally called out the pillows and she addressed it the next day and has been moving the darn pillows to make it look like she lounges on the couch. <laughs> he looks kind of contempt. He looks like he's praying that Kibala slides back into his DMs. Um, this is Foodie doing an impersonation of Dee Dee from Just Saying. Let me make it bigger. It looks like it's a longer clip. All right. Can you guys see it all right? Let me double check. Single but not like the Pringle. No, thank God I'm not single like the Pringle lost in Foodies Fupa. Okay. <coughs> Rat face with a broomstick? Like this? Like... Stupid. <laughs> Excuse me. Jesus! Hello. Oh, my gosh. That made the ground rumble over here in California. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Anyway. Excuse me. I mean. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go recover from these, this stupid, nashy friggin' hangover. It's a decorative dirty mug. Do tree lady with your ball head up. Hey, so oh, oh, my eye. Oh, my gosh. Literally be sitting beside him and he'd be like, bling, bling. hurt her eye doing that. Be like, bling, bling. answer. Hello. So, tell Shami, why are you with that ugly hot pick when you can have someone like me? Oh my gosh. I'm so much. Great girl, do you still have that weed? Daughter than her. Oh my gosh. All a bitch can do is start feet. To me. Oh, this is so scary right now. Oh my gosh. I can't to work. Oh my gosh. I, I'm not sleeping tonight. Confirmed. <laughs> and I can do special K. Yeah, and she's so gross. And I watch her every day. You know what I'm saying? See? Make me do flop off. I feel like a tooth is gonna come flying out at us. Oh my gosh, look at where it's paused! Love it the most! <laughs> that is so scary. The definition of a Muslim right there, folks. This is horrible. She is crazy. I know, this is a... Yep. What a lady. Ah, you look handsome tonight. I love it the most. Mm. Okay! That was the worst part. Oh my lord. Help me, Jesus. Okay. I don't know why I want to see it again. Okay. Is that, Is that her O face? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> no, let me do it again. Let me do it again. No, please don't. Let's listen to let, let, let's listen to it. You want to listen to it? <laughs> mm. 
You look handsome. <laughs> Picture her doing that, and then Salah poops on her. Thanks. <laughs> <coughs> I love what you're cooking. Mm, I love it too. I love it the <laughs> I'm glad you crack yourself up because I'm wondering how I'm going to sleep later. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm cracking up. I'm out of here. This reminds me of that thing your mama did um, earlier. It just, I don't know. They like crack themselves up, but like really that was just terrifying. That was terrifying. This was an insult to herself, if anything. Why is the Muslim community accepting this? Um, great question. Leslie, thank you so much for gifting a membership. And Zora got it. Welcome to the Breezy Bunch, Zora. Leslie, you are so sweet. You gifted some earlier and I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm kind of scared to see what else we find. Oh, yay. Dragon Lord Frodo, Karate Joe, and Cyrax. <clears throat> Let me hit my vape for this. Okay. This is a lot happening in one picture. This is a lot. My eyes have seen some things tonight. Just play this muted on a tablet on your front door for Halloween. <laughs> Are they accepting this? I think she just went unnoticed. I don't know. Um, okay. So Scorpio Angel said, hold on. There, see, I didn't have to mute myself. Scorpio Angel said, you were saying, Chins? Dragon Lord Frodo, who you modded for. Karate Joe, your online husband, a known child predator, which you knew what Karate Joe was all about. Then sympathy for Cyrax. Get the F out. PDF sympathizing trash piece of crap. By the way, we don't want Kaya around. Yeah, I mean... Gosh, she really, uh, uh, that was just a lot in one picture. I got to keep going. This thing just, this part of, did you guys see Vanderpump Rules tonight? Or did you guys see it? it I don't know what this was, but it cracked me up. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch it on repeat enough times, it's hilarious. I don't know. Um, Cyrax looks like a fish on crack. Kind of. He just, he terrifies me. Everything about him terrifies me. And his tongue absolutely disgusts me. I can't think about him too long because I might vomit in my mouth a little bit. I'm so happy you're on. I was so bored. I have my days and nights mixed up. Hey, pink stars. It's really good to see you. I don't like the sound of that. Satan, what did Satan say? Beautiful regret you would love. No, nobody would love Cyrax. Um, Pink Stars, welcome. Hugh said, the body of a gray alien. Ay, ay, ay. We need to remember to play. Um, I have it. I actually have it up. Um, hold on one second. I don't have it up, but I can pull it up. So I know this person really wants me to be like upset. And the fact of like they were making fun of me, but I think it's more upsetting on how they're mocking people with disabilities. Um, don't mind the title because it just reminded me of a certain president who did this too. Um, anyway, so hold on one second. It's just disgusting in general. Like he thinks it's funny to make fun of people who had strokes. He thinks it's hilarious. And just like people with disabilities in general, like, um, it's messed up, but it says more about him than it does about me, if you know what I mean. Um, let me make it bigger for you. So. Look at guys. Her hand has a nibble. <laughs> These people. Yeah, she's special. <laughs> Who watches this, man? <laughs> you do, yo mama. You watch me everything I do. I could be on a scooter ride 
nothing to do with foodie you watch it i could be at a hookah lounge i could be shopping anything that i do you sit and watch every single stream you're probably gonna watch this later so like you sit there and watch it um i think you are one of my biggest fans i think you well you're not biggest i mean because what are you like 411 um but like <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I find you vile and I find you trying to hide behind the fact and being like, oh, I'm a comic. I'm a comic. Like, you're not funny at all. It's not funny to make fun of people with disabilities. It's just not. You, foodie, and a certain president remind me so much of each other and you can all have each other. Um, thank you, Pancake. <laughs> Is this what happens to the kids that were annoying in high school? I mean, it's like crazy to me. I get so much shit for like covering foodie online because I'm a mom and like, you know, she's always saying like, your daughter's gonna like, you're a horrible example for your daughter, your daughter, your daughter. What about his kids seeing that? I can imagine that happening at school. Like, and that won't be cool. <laughs> it's not, it's not going to be cool. Like, it's not okay to do that. Um, he is secretly in love with you, Breezy. I'm not okay with that. Woof, woof. He could never have me, Matthew. He doesn't bark at me like you do. Logic said, okay, but her hand looks like the hamburger helper mitt. <laughs> All right, let's go back to Twitter, you guys. Um, that, sorry, excuse for, he's not even a man. Um, it's just vile. But like I said, it doesn't, like, I'm not upset for me. Like, I'm just upset that he thinks that's funny. Um... Yeah, anyways, let's get off the topic of him. Let's get off the topic of him. All right, where did we leave off? Can you guys see okay again? Who says they're the best streamer out there? Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> Tom said, your dumbass needs to get out of the garage. The fumes are getting to him. I think so. I think so. But if his kids got bullied, it would be there. All four foot five of him puffing his chest and flushed face screaming stop the bullying um yeah it's not gonna be funny when like somebody in his family has a stroke he's not gonna find it hilarious um I don't know it's just I'm not wishing that for him but I'm saying you know people find that stuff hilarious until they're affected by it and I don't know it's not cool anyways dust bunny said that was a fantasy you can't oh quoting foodie beauty that was a fantasy you can't judge someone based on fantasies um I absolutely can and will chins I will judge that fantasy as well. I will judge it harshly. Um, this I found was interesting because I know Amberlynn Reed. I didn't watch, but I saw a certain person was defending her again. And I've heard people talking about it. I guess she was claiming that a reaction channel doxed the clinic. And it shows here that she flashed a folder. She actually showed a folder from her initial appointment and she doxed the clinic. So she was saying a reaction channel doxed Eric Smith or something, and the clinic was getting like a ton of calls, but on her folder, she showed it. So I don't know. There you go. Receipts. She doxed it herself, but I think we end up covering a tweet where they do like a recap. This actually might be it. Kelly said, Amberlynn is a liar. If Dr. Smith was her doctor, he would have given her weight loss goals. She claimed they had never, wait, he would have given her a weight loss goal. She claimed they never gave her goals. Liars keep lying. This was only the question I thought was interesting in her Q&A. Okay, let's play it because I'm not watching this on her channel, so we're going to get it here. What really happened during the weight loss surgery era? And I said, oh, I can't get weight loss surgery until I don't binge for a whole year. Then I had an appointment with my dietitian, and she said, you're going to come meet the surgeon because we need to talk to you about something. So I was going to meet the surgeon even before I was supposed to. They were contacting my surgeon's office through the phone, through messages, any way that people could contact my surgeon they were finding it and they were doing it. So how did people find out who my surgeon was? A reaction channel. This reactor wanted to know so badly who my surgeon was mm -hmm. that they faked wanting to get weight loss surgery just so they could get that email back to them to confirm who my weight loss surgeon was. And once they confirmed who my weight loss surgeon was, what did they do? 
they doxed him. My surgeon was Dr. Smith, um, the same surgeon who did Tammy Slayton surgery. Mm -hmm. It was people saying how I binged and I lie, I lie, I lie. React to me all day. Go for it. I really don't care at this point. But stop getting in the fucking way of my life. They oh, she's in a real mood. They had to deal with all of these messages. That's not fair to them. I also want to thank Zachary Michael because he knew about all of this. I'm not going to share. By the way, he's been tweeting that he has some DMs. I don't know. He's calling her out about something. I don't, you have to check his Twitter. There are DMs because I feel like that's low life. Um, I know reaction channels love to share DMs. It's like their go-to. It's like, oh, Amberlynn messaged me. Let me show you. It's like, he didn't say a word. And in his reactions, he acted like he had no idea. No, that's not the reason why I didn't end up getting weight loss surgery. I ultimately did not get weight loss surgery because I didn't feel ready. Just like a lot of different things that were causing me to be like, this is not the right choice right now. All right. What well, I, really happened oops, during no, I don't the weight hear you loss again. surgery era? I don't know. I just assume she's lying, but hopefully people aren't harassing a doctor's office. Hopefully not. Um, Karina debunked all of this. Oh, good. I like Karina. I'll have to check out the video. Is it the newest one? Um, Zora said, I researched Kuwaitis. Don't allow foreigners earn decent amount of money. Heck, they don't even want them there. And Salad and her are both. Oh, wow. Not the right choice. She's morbidly obese. Yeah, it's kind of scary that she's not ready and she's at the weight she is. And B said, I've never seen a reaction channel share DMs. I don't know. He just said that she says something about DMs that isn't true. And he has the original now. And then he said he's doing a video. I think it's supposed to be tomorrow. So he didn't say like, I'm showing them and outing her ass. He just like called her out for something. Um, that's why slow mama was bashing Zachary Michael. He was jealous. I guess so. Yo mama loves him some Amberlynn Reed. Like they, you cannot convince me they don't have a thing. The way she gushes about him and super chats him, the way he was traveling. And then one day men's underwear magically showed up in her laundry and she had her own washer and dryer. I don't know. You can't convince me. There's not a little side, something going on. <laughs> um, Lizzie said foodie beauty sing. Gatman's combo with Kay Bella was just fantasy is weirder than her denial about Natter and Dee Dee sleeping together. Dude went from piss to poop to grape to white ass worship to Christianity blasphemy to how much she makes the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Ooh, that's well said. Julie says showing uh, Foodie Beauty's thumbnail Islam is not an aesthetic. Julie says, Islam is not aesthetic. No, it's an excuse for you to cover your double chins and bald head. And it's an example of how far you will go to get any man to claim you. Even if he is only using you and truly despises you. Delusional. Booty's going to be mad at this tomorrow. Um, Salt and Sauce said, grape is sex without consent fantasizing inflicting soul-sucking trauma and violating someone's body is absolutely a fantasy i will judge there's nothing sexy about killing someone on the inside people may physically survive and eventually thrive but who they were before dies and i thought that was so important to like it needed to be read it needed to be said lisa thank you so much for the breezy bunch membership and tom got it Tom, welcome to the Breezy Bunch. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you, thank you. Um, you guys, look at Spud. Matthew, and I don't want to hear it. Spud is in, I believe, Santa Clarita. So cute. And you can find Spud, who is a young male pug on Pet Finder. Look at this little face. Look at this little face. Spud, I, I hope you find your forever home. Um... People have PTSD from SA, trust me. I know it's not consensual. See, that's like, and that's the, this is the whole thing. Like, I know they try and claim like, oh, it's a certain lifestyle, whatever. Like that certain lifestyle people are talking about is all about consent between two adults. Grape is not consent. And I don't care what they say. You cannot convince me that that's normal. You cannot convince me that it's normal. You can't. Um, this little cutie is also looking for a home, Juno, who is in Los Angeles. 
Janelle is so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's keep going. More Amberlynn Reed stuff. Um, I think this was about her recent vlog. Oh no, it was about her live stream. No, or vlog. The truth about my weight loss surgeon and everything else I've been avoiding. Well, whatever. It was recently. So Foop Olympic said she cut her hair with kitchen scissors. Gushes about yo mama. Admits that wifey number one and two were the same person. Talks about how her surgeon got doxxed by a reaction channel and says she didn't get weight loss surgery because she didn't feel like she had enough support from Feline. Wow. Didn't she used to say she didn't have enough support from Becky too? I don't know. I've never really like watched her consistently because she always annoys me so much that like I go long points, like long periods of time without watching her. I want to hear his bark. Oh, hold on. You want to hear his bark? We can make that happen. Anything for you, Matthew. I want to hear Oops, his hold bark. on. Oh, hold on. Oh, God, I hate hearing my own voice. Okay. Are you guys ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, his little bark. Um, let's see. She admitted wifey was the same person who the F lets a creator lie to them time and time again and gaslight them. Ay, ay, ay. All right, food more foodie clips from failure to lunch. Who said poor girl needs a break from all the home cooked meals she's made? Oh, oh gosh, this. He doesn't cook. It's not his job. It's mine. <laughs> we have different jobs. I think I'm gonna have Salah take me out for iftar tonight. I don't feel like I don't feel like cooking again. Oh my going God. out. Maybe I can show you guys. You know. What does she do? Failure to lunch says, "Why don't you donate money you would have spent on a meal to charity? Isn't that what Ramadan is all about? Plus, you just bought a full two weeks worth of shopping." I think Foodie considers herself as charity. I really do. <laughs> um, let's see. Hidden Truth said Chantal found being in Kuwait helpful for her addiction. So it's a clip we're going to watch. Um, okay, so she found being in Kuwait helpful for her addictions, but worries about relapsing if she goes back home. While she avoids her old vices there, she now struggles with a new addiction to food. It is these things, these new things. And every time that I want to go back to Canada and I associate my life in Canada for some reason, I just can't get over that right now. So that's why I think it's better to stay away for now. It's just that I associate that old life before Islam in Canada. And I just think that it's like, um, I feel like I'm just going to go back to all the material things and that's all that's going to matter. The wheelchairs, the food, um, all the things that were distracting me from what life really is about. And it's th these distractions are everywhere and they're meant to take us off the right path. And like here, I, I associate myself with the right path here. I don't know. It's just like, you know, so that's what I mean by like a tug of war with myself. And, and uh -huh. I do, it gets hard. It's hard because I feel kind of like it's new. It's weird. It's, it makes you face yourself. It makes you think of things that you don't want to think about, you know, like growth is hard. It's really hard. And I do want to like sometimes just revert back and just go about living mindlessly and just consume and consume and just numb myself. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So it's like, it's really tough. Sure, the sujud is not bad. I can, you know, but when I have to do four rockets, like, what? what for tarawi like for the extra prayers the long ones where you have to do like eight rakats i no i'm sitting for that but if i have to do only like between two to four like for the regular prayer it's not as bad <clears throat> um let's see. that's what people consider a successful life a successful life is how many things you have how aesthetic and perfect your life is uh how it appears on social media um I'll just take somebody not wanting to poop on me. Like, I'm happy with that. You know, like how, how much money you have in your bank. People like literally want to leave the world because they're in the overdraft, for example. Or people think they're a failure because 
you know, they don't have enough money, you know, and it's like, it's so weird to me now. Like I used to be like that. I used to think I was such a failure because you know what? I will never take accept anybody calling me like high maintenance. I'm truly not. But like I'll never accept that. Like I truly just will accept somebody not wanting to shit at me on me, like <laughs> or wanting to do weird things, any crosses I may have around. Like, uh, you know. <laughs> um, okay, so this clip is really important because it's Salah um basically uh... admitting that he's embarrassed of foodie. So since foodie watches, we might have to play it like more than once so let's see so or no mo said oop so salah won't make videos with Chantel because he is embarrassed to be seen with her and not because he is busy with work she got off that live stream so fast after he said that all right are we ready lovey uh couple channel please oh couple channel maybe 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 when we get uh, more healthy Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe when we get um, more healthy? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, she says. See? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Maybe when we get uh, more healthy? Yeah, yeah. Malachi. Yikes, foodie. He's embarrassed to be seen with you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I get more and more embarrassed, more, like more and more embarrassed by the day for her. I don't know how she's not mortified. Um, Let's see, people were talking about, Foodie's like going on this whole thing about um suing FFG. So Not Your Mother said she withdrew legal action against gonads and was in Canada three times threatening to sue FFG. Blah, blah, blah. I'll talk. I agree. Just stop it already. You have no case. You have to go to court with clean hands and Chin's hands are filthy. True. Um, barbecue chicken shared this and said, I know you're lying. So it's somebody in foodies comment section and their name is Bayozi 875. They said, I am so sorry. You have to deal with all these haters. Salah is one lucky man. Other men can only men or wait. Other men can only dream of a beauty like you. On top of that, you are even a great cook. <laughs> they called her beautiful and a good cook. Like what? What are you on? Are we looking at the same person? I was thinking his obese American aunt FFG is laughing at her. He probably tells anyone on the streets that he is her tour guide. <laughs> probably. Great girl said, how low can you get, Chin? Scatman doesn't even want to be seen with you. Tell us again how much hotter you are than 90% of YouTube. <laughs> Tell us again, foods. Okay, let's keep going. Um, More of Salah's tweets being shared. So P.I. said, no matter how many Ramadan songs he sings or how many fake-ass pictures she puts up in her videos, Salah will always be seen as a cheater who gets off on poop and farts during sex and who told a stranger on the internet that her ass was more important than his whole family. Yeah, that's him. Okay, what else does it say? Um, and that is the legacy of Foodie Beauty and Salah. Okay. Yeah, he told Kay Bella, your ass is more important than my whole family. The in love heart eye emoji. He says, goddess. She says, I'm here. I love that. He says, your ass is better than my family. Right, goddess? She says, my God, Salah, I am worthless. He says, yes, you are. Wait, where is your ass? I must lick it now before I poop on you. I mean... <laughs> She says, I will fart for you. And he says, where? On your face. Wow, so hot. She says, yeah, and make Chantal pay for it. He says, you think so? She says, yes. He says, she'll pay for another girl to come to me and effort. She says, exactly. Heart emoji. He says, imagine what she's going to do. Kate Bella says, nothing. He says, nothing. Yikes. 
I think there's more that's probably going to pop up, you guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He wants a woman he can carry. Yes, where is your ass? I know. <laughs> Pancake said she played him like a fiddle, and the music she made we will listen to for years. Yes, we will. We will. This is Floopa Booty. Let's see. Oh, another foodie clip. Oh, it's what Foodie called Salah when she found out about his cheating ways. You're not a man. You're a mesquine. You're a boy. You're a boy. You're not a man. You're a mesquine. You're a boy. You're a boy. She was so mad. So Mrs. Floopa Booty said, So the woman who barely speaks three words of Arabic knew that particular mesquine word? Wonder why? Ooh. All right, let's see. Scorpio Angel said, Chins. How he hates you because you neglect him. The animals aren't the problem. It's you. All you, Heifer. Animals can sense evil. You're the epitome of evil. Anim animal abuser, funkel, pea-brained, moronic trash. Yeah, people are mad at her today. <laughs> How he tried to run away. Oh, my gosh. I just got... <gasps> Leslie, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, my gosh. You're so sweet. We love you, too, Leslie. That was so nice. God, she looks like... Wait, Leslie, I don't know the word or I'd tell you. You're a what? Mesquine, I think it is. With your hairy, infected ass, Salah. Oh, gosh. Between his ass and his toes. I don't know how anybody is in his DMs. I will say that much. Um, Miss Unbreakable said... Wait, what? But Kabella is a living... Oh, because Foodie keeps saying it's a fantasy. So... This person said, but Kabella is a living, breathing female woman. So how exactly is this a fantasy? She was not made up and she was not talking your husband to your husband from like a chat line. We, the people are confused. It wasn't a fantasy. It's what Foodie's trying to tell herself to make herself feel better. Um, what did this say? Queen of WTF said, I didn't catch this until the editing, but this was the best part of the stream. It's kind of hard to preach when hubby doesn't practice. Okay, what does this say? Oh, yeah. Okay, talking about religion, didn't Salah say he wanted to urinate on a Christian? <laughs> okay, listen, that was something private, not public. That was something, that's a, a fetish. It's not real, okay? Anything to do with fantasies, there's a reason that's called a fantasy. That's not real. You can't judge somebody based on a stupid fantasy. Okay, oh, yeah. Okay, talking about religion, didn't Salah say he wanted to urinate on a Christian? He did. Okay, listen, that was something private, not public. That was something, that's a, a fetish. It's not real, okay? Anything to do with fantasies, there's a reason that's called a fantasy. That's it's not real. very re real. It's very, very real. All right, so this was the tweet we started reading that got Luna very upset. And what Salah says, I'm not going to keep saying it. So let's keep going. Mysterious Green Eyes says, Foodie Beauty, if you don't watch reaction channels, then how do you know what they are talking about? You can't bitch about people talking about your religion if you monetize it for content. Again, if you don't want it discussed, then pipe down. It's like nobody's making fun of like the Muslim. Nobody's making fun of that. What people are calling out is her. She's the one making a mockery of it. She's the one cosplaying. She is. And people are calling her out for that. He didn't actually do it, so it's fine in her head, right? He said if he seen her on the street, he would do it. Yeah, it's what Foodie's telling herself to make herself feel better. That's all it is. Um, So this is a super chat Foodie got, and it's from Sperm Everywhere. That's the username. And it says, can Salah eat poo during Ramadan, or does that break the fast? <laughs> and then... Salah's so talking below it. Applebee's fasting during Ramadan is not just about food. It is also to avoid negative behaviors, promoting self-control, and purifying one's thoughts and actions. <laughs> I really want to make this the thumbnail. I am so tempted. I am so tempted. Uh, tonight is so funny on Twitter. All right, let me catch up with you guys for a minute. Oh, he wishes he could. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Luna backwards is anal. <laughs> oh my gosh. You said Lisa. Is it Salah? Maybe it is. 
Matthew said it could be happy just laughing at his kinks, but the grapes, sorry, that's the biggest of red flags. Agreed, Matthew. Lisa, read Breezy. Wait, going back up. I know I read it. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what else we find. This is like the greatest super chat, anyways. Um, okay, your eyes on the ground, your head down, don't look up. More of this. All of his DMs are all over Twitter. Um, what is this about? Oh, I guess this is the person Foodie was upset about that people were talking about. I don't know how to say her name, but um, it's a beautiful, they say that it's a beautiful woman. She carries herself with such grace and believes in following the teaches of the Quran in her own words, get a life. But it's spelled J-A-S-E-R-A-H. So I think that's the person, hold on. Now I'm nosy. Hi, Ramadan Kareem. It is my first year having a place of my own, and I also have a ton of new spaces to decorate, like a console table, my island, a dining table, and I'm just so excited. I'm planning on doing a You guys notice how she doesn't look like she just rolled out of bed? Like she's all very well put together. She's beautiful. Her home is beautiful. Let me make it a little bit bigger. We might be here for a few minutes because now I'm just being nosy. Daily vlogs. Don't hold me to it, but I'm going to try since I'm not working this year. I keep telling myself I have no excuse. I have nothing else to do and I need to like really push myself. So hopefully I'll be doing um, short form content. So for TikTok and Instagram, as well as a daily vlog. So Before we get into the Ramadan decoration, I wanted to share this beautiful dress from Batul, the collection. This dress is literally stunning. She dresses so cute. She is absolutely beautiful. She is pretty, you guys. I know. So this is who Foodie was raging about. Um, I forget if it was her community post now or during one of her lives. She was upset that people were comparing her to this woman who is absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. She nailed it with all of the detailing, the rouging, the design. The cut, the color is just so pretty. So this actually would be a beautiful Eid dress if you guys are looking for something. I'm not really sure if she still has it in stock. I actually bought this dress like four months ago and I never wore it. And this is just like the perfect time to pull it out. I wanted to share this in case you're looking for modest dresses for Ramadan or something for Eid. This would just be so stunning. Starting with my tablescape, I was so excited to decorate this this year because I've never had a dining table of my own. Obviously I had one at my parents. Her makeup is so pretty too. It's so nice to see somebody like, she cares about her appearance. I mean, this is just nice because my little sister, wait, what? I'm sure she gets her stuff custom made or custom dresses done. The dress is beautiful. She's uh, beautiful. Parents house, but it was really hard to decorate that because there were so many people in the house and obviously people wanted to use a dining table and here I am wanting to just make it look cute, so it's very impractical. But this year, since I don't have anyone else with me, I can keep my table decorated through the entire month, and I'm just so excited about that. So I have plates and table napkins. These table napkins are from West Elm, but I don't know. She has plates and napkins! Plates and napkins! Put them because they don't really match my table runner. I was going for this sage green vibe in my apartment. But this is just the wrong shade. This is like a mint. So, I mean, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to still keep that. The bar is set so low that I'm excited. Somebody we're watching has plates and napkins. <laughs> I also bought these beautiful olive green. What is her channel? It's spelled J-S. Hold on. Let me make it smaller. J-A-S-E-R-A-H. And she's over on YouTube. We'll just watch a few more minutes, you guys. This is nice. This is actually very refreshing. Green glasses. I think this is from Crate Barrel. Yeah, it's from CB2. This is going to add that perfect touch to my tablescape. My vision for my table setting this year is a candlelit dinner with pops of olive green. So that's exactly what I'm putting together. Look at this. Foodie just throws a few lanterns on the table. These are long cylinders that have floating candles on the top. These I've been reusing since like Thanksgiving or something. Simply before. So simply J-A-S-E-R-A-H. Thing. They're from Michaels. And then these are tall 
glass um, candle holders. Like how pretty is that? I love the shape. It's a very clean, modern look. So I got these off of Amazon. And then these are tiny little votives. These are also really, really pretty. As a centerpiece, I'm using this Ramadan Mubarak sign that I got off of Amazon. And that's just going to be the focal point and there's going to be candles surrounding it. I got these off of Amazon. It was a huge garland and I just took scissors and I just like went at it and I made these tiny little stems and I'm going to place it on the dining table. I think that's going to look so pretty like that. I'm also going now if she has forks and spoons, I'm going to be in love. I'm going to place these cards on the side and I think that's going to look so pretty. These cards were gifted to me from Hina Chadri. She's a local. Look at this. We get cards. We get all this pizzazz. Foodie throws a few pistachios on the table. Cool artist here in Houston. If you guys want to check her out, I will leave her information down below, but they're just really pretty, beautiful cards. You can write like a little letter on the back if you wanted to. And I thought that would look so pretty. So I'm going to link everything down below as well as the little candles that go inside, the fairy lights. For my Ramadan decoration this year, I am reusing and re- Okay, that's so cool. Repurposing everything that I had in last year's collection with the- ex How do we go back to Foodie after seeing this? How do we go back to her? <laughs> oh, good night, Logic. I bet she even has real silverware. I bet. I know what a difference. Foodie stuff is so tacky. It's this setup. This it's gorgeous. Everything she's done is like beautiful, classy. Exception of two or three items. So the only two new things that I got are these new lanterns. I really wanted to invest in some high quality lanterns because they just are staples in my Ramadan collection and I can use them. I'm sorry, but her lanterns are way better than the other person. Like, wow for years and years to come. So I got those two, and then I got a new Adhan clock, which I'll share with you guys in a second. 99% of my Ramadan decor collection is made up of small Muslim-owned businesses. So I will tag everyone down below if you guys want mm -hmm. to shop them. I have a code with almost all of the brands that I'm gonna share with you guys. This is not sponsored, by the way. This is just pieces that they gifted me like a few years ago, and I just have it part of my collection because they really are amazing, good quality pieces. So I'm gonna start with my favorite brand. Okay. This is from What They Spin. They have beautiful Islamic architectural design in their pieces. So this is a beautiful sign that says La ilaha illallah, and it's battery operated. So if you put a battery in the back, this glows so beautifully when you place it on a stand. Oh, wow. This is another piece that I really love. It's a stand with the 99 names of Allah. And this makes a beautiful centerpiece. You can have it on a table or a mantle or even on an island. It's so, so pretty and really- Pancake, I agree. Pancake said she treats, she treats Ramadan like a real holiday. Well, Spooty is just raging because she can't eat. So true. Really good quality. All of their pieces are handmade in India by Muslim craftsmen. So that is just so nice. I also have this Ramadan sign, which I feel like everyone has, but it's just a really nice, simple way to like really show that it's Ramadan. They also have an Eid Mubarak sign, Alhamdulillah sign, and they come in various colors other muslim business that i am loving i found her on twitter because people were talking about her channel and um sharing like video links and comparing her to foodie and saying like look at this person look at how she dresses herself like so beautifully and how she is respectful and how she presents herself and so they were comparing the two and foodie was raging about it and we were just covering tweets and i got nosy and wanted to see more and I keep wanting, I want to watch more. Um, she doesn't seem to be raging. I know, Zora. She has a beautiful kitchen. She does. She does. Purchasing from her own foodie could never. Will she boil and then roast a chicken? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Just Jenny said total class, total. And they actually have gone viral, I feel like, in the last year. is It's Rasam. Uh -huh. And they have beautiful like sculptures and minimal ceramic pieces. These make really cute centerpieces, like if you put it on a coffee table or in your bookshelf, they're just really nice little sculptures to have as decorated pieces. So I have these two little mosques and they're just so, so cute. The brand that I absolutely love is Zayn and Nora. They have calligraphy that is engraved on solid wood and they're just really, again, mm -hmm. modern, 
clean pieces that look so nice on an entryway table or like on a console. They come in various colors. You can have this in plain wood instead of the white paint, but I chose white. Um, they have black and turquoise, so just really, really pretty pieces to check out. So this is what I'm probably the most excited about this year. This is an Avan clock that I've actually never had before. And the Growing one up, my parents used to have one, but it's that really, it's not really, it sounds so bad, but like really loud, annoying like sound. The oh. audio was just poor quality, so it felt like it was screeching and piercing into our ears. But this one is so nice. It has an alarm clock for obviously all five prayers, oh. but it also has other little tidbits like hadith of the day or a verse of the day, and it'll tell you what. I think Foobs needs this instead of the app. Look at this. Day of Ramadan it is. And you can also choose the gari that you want for your adhan. And then after every adhan is the dua that you have to recite. So it plays that as well. It also has the option to play at the hajjad alarm, which is nice. Last two pieces. Both of these are new to my collection and I love them. They are really good quality lanterns. I bought this one from West Elm and this one from those are beautiful pottery barn and i just really wanted to invest in good quality lanterns because they are one of those pieces that i reuse year after year in my ramadan decoration so this one is so so pretty it's like this brass gold uh -huh. and it's from pottery barn and then this one is more of a clean minimal look with the glass and if I, I love that one this from West Elm and I actually got this in a larger size as well so I can pair a small little guy and a big guy um either in my entryway or near my stay here forever I like the music too I do too <laughs> she has silverware I know I know I'm so happy I'm in love Oh my gosh! I love it here! I forgot to share with you guys my prayer corner that I put together this year. Honestly, nothing has changed from last year except for the location. I reused everything that I had. So the same prayer rugs. I love these prayer rugs. They're so beautiful. In the morning light, they have like this really pretty sheen and I got two of them i just layered them because i love the way that looks and then i have two pillows back there with a beautiful throw that i got from macy's a couple years ago food he could never this is beautiful two lanterns with some twinkle lights i have a starlight going over top of my pillows then I have this little side table with all of my books that I'm reading this month. So this- You guys, look at her Quran. Hold on, you can tell she's actually read it. Notice how it looks opened. Over top of my pillows. Then I have this little side table with all of my books that I'm reading this month. So this book is new to me. I picked this up after seeing somebody talk about it on TikTok. It's called The Spiritual Medicine. Basically, for every emotion, there is some ayahs and just some spiritual and uplifting motivational little excerpts, all from Hadith and Sunnah. So it's just a really nice book to flip through, whether you're feeling, you know, sad or if you're feeling like you're being very prideful. It really does have all of the emotions. This one is for extravagance. It's just so nice to have something on hand like that so I'm gonna is there one for feeling smug i'm gonna flip through this in ramadan hopefully take some notes i'll share some gems on my instagram stories then i got this dua journal honestly i just got this from veiled collection i've been wanting this journal for so long and i'm so happy that they sent this over pretty much it's a prompt journal it asks you a few prompts and you just fill it out daily and it's just nice to be aware of what you're making dua for what you're grateful for so happy that they sent this i've been wanting it for so long and then lastly obviously i have the quran which i've went through and labeled every um surah look at the labels she has labels that's why it's just easy for me to flip through and read 
throughout the month of Ramadan. So I actually love having a prayer corner. I find it really helpful to have a dedicated space, whether it's in your home, a bedroom, a spare room, just somewhere where you can go and really get in some good ibadah. I honestly spend like 90% of my time here during Ramadan, either making dua, praying, reading the Quran, or just reflecting. So I wanted to share this before I end the vlog. I can't turn the camera around because I already removed my job, but wanted to share this before I go. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys hopefully in my daily vlogs for Ramadan, probably the second day of Ramadan. So, so early Ramadan Mubarak, and I hope you guys have a blessed month. Bye. I don't ever want to I don't ever want to go back to burping and farting like I was so happy over here. This was so nice. Booty would be seething about her. I know. I can't imagine how much food. I know. I know. Tomorrow the next day I'm calling in now. She's going to be saying she's grateful for basic things and have a notepad. <laughs> I can't imagine. Oh my gosh. Booty has the very least amount of class of any room she's in. Very true. Well, that was really nice. Do you guys want to read a few more tweets? I mean, I don't even know how we go back to foodie from, um, oh, I don't even know where we just ended up. Hold on. Um, I don't, that was a very classy lady right there. Foodie could never. That's all I have to say. <laughs> um, what does it say? Crazy Yo Gabby said, gave no name a wrench. How long before she's in Salah's DMs? She's dumb as hell. Um, I wouldn't say it's going to, I don't think it's going to be very long. What is this? Oh, Salt and South said, take what you will from the farms. I agree. And I think she's facing the wrong way. So this really made Foodie mad. This was another thing that really upset her. Um, hold on one second. Okay. Glad you found her. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad everybody on Twitter was talking about her. Um, I'm a regular human being and sometimes I burp or fart. But do you do it for money? Also, make your knees right because if you need to give CPR, you need your knees to work. Yeah. Pancake said, I'm so grateful for my husband, Foodie, after watching this wonderful woman. Okay, so this is from the farms. It says, Foodie, every day Miriam Chantal is praying facing the wrong way. The definitive guide to her being a bad Muslim and proving Salah does not live with her. It says, going to settle this for the fat, so this is her building. This is the, I don't know how to say it, Kibla Finder. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Don't I'm, I'm not going to keep saying it, but her apartment is located about by the blue star in the building. You know this because of the view of the window in the living room and the main bedroom faces the Persian Gulf. And the view from Salah's bedroom faces the buildings in the alley. You can also see where the elevator shaft is, etc., in the building layout. We know the elevator is just down the hall on her side of the building, and she has neighbors to their left in a mirrored apartment. Please observe the orientation of the building in alignment to the gulf. In Chantal's video where she was praying, she is facing south, east, aka mostly south. Okay, I, I don't know. This is a lot of information at once. I just believe she was praying the wrong way, okay? I believe she was facing the wrong direction. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. You don't have to get me to read all this. It's a lot of work. They know her neighbors, where the elevator is. Jeez. Um, okay, well, Salt and Sass is where she found the wrong way thing in Rages. Now they're arguing on Twitter. It's booty for sure. I'm telling you, at first I was going back and forth between thinking Luna was foodie and pissy, but I definitely think it's foodie now. Um, Greek, she would never fall for the shit she wants no part of. Wait, what? What did Greek say? Oh, yeah. She would run from scamming. Everybody would. Everybody would. Does Salad have a life insurance policy? Is this allowed in Kuwait? Just wondering. Mm, I don't know. That's a good question. I would believe it. I would. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he does. Okay, what does Joel say? Oh, dear foodie beauty, now you want to start legal action against FFG when last week it was one of the reasons you decided not to go to Canada? Put up or shut up about it. Everyone is sick of you banging on about FFG. She trolls you. You always take the bait. I think there's more. I don't like a lot of the stuff FFG does, but honestly, just shut up about it. And then Chantal's Flyed Rice said, FFG and Chantal remind me of Marty and Cyrax. And it's absolutely baffling to 
be how both of them are literally too stupid to just ignore it. Like, if you give zero attention, it goes away. Booty and Rax are attention-addicted lol cows, and it's so effing cringe. Yep. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> what do you say? Cyrax is cringe. Um, I think this is more... <gasps> do you guys want to hear the woof woof? I think this is it. Well, I feel like I'm oh. talking to a real dog, a real slave. A pure... Just kidding. I thought it was the woof woof. Your dog. I'm gonna shit on you and rape. Ugh. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, more of his DMs. Oh my gosh, I can't read it. I want to finger your... Okay. Well, we all know what he said. If you'd like to zoom in or take a screenshot, now's your chance. Um, I still want to sleep tonight, so I don't need to picture him fingering anything. Thank you very much, especially when I see Foodie with warts now, and I'm wondering what she's fingering. Um, here's a lot of <laughs> Foodie clips coming up. Are you guys still here? Hold on. Let me pull up on my phone. Leslie, love you too. We need FFG to also react to this beautiful lady too. Between Breezy and FFG watching an actual Muslim lady, Foodie will blow a gasket, LOL. Hi, Blue Daisy. <laughs> he thinks he's so effing cute. That part right there. Foodie will say FFG is scared of her now because FFG wasn't on yesterday, not realizing FFG does have a life off of YouTube. Probably. All right. So here's a bunch of Foodie clips. Kelly said, I know it's long, but this fake Muslim had a lot to rage about. I can't believe she thinks it's okay to talk like this on Ramadan. So this will get you caught up if you missed any of the foodie rages. Um, all right. Brought to my attention that people lying on my religion and making a mockery of my religion. Apparently when I'm praying, I'm not praying in the right direction. So as you can see here, this is the Qibla up. Qibla is the direction of prayer. Okay. Here, this, this little thing here, this is the, this, this is the, this will show you, this is the Kaaba. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Holy Kaaba. This will show you the direction of prayer. You see that? That's the direction of prayer. I was praying here. This is the direction. Okay. This is the Qibla. Okay. Okay. My husband's been Muslim his whole entire life. Okay. okay? Um, no, he's not perfect, but doesn't matter. He knows um, the direction of prayer, I'm pretty sure, okay? And it's saying we don't know, who are not even Muslim, have not prayed mm -hmm. a day in their life, um, are Islamophobic, and just plain ignorant and dumb. So, yeah. So they make content. I hate when she says that, because calling her out on her BS is not being Islamophobic. Out of bagging on a Muslim for their how they practice their religion when they're the biggest cruds on this planet. Yeah, making a mockery entirely of the religion, like, especially during Ramadan. Like, are you serious? Like, get a life. That's you, sweetie. You're making a mockery of your religion during Ramadan. You are. I didn't even have to cut the chicken. So I literally only had to tear it apart. Like, and then I roasted it in the oven. It's a very common way of cooking. Honestly, just so over this person, this trash bag of a human, I swear, if somebody bought me a plane ticket today, I would go next week to Canada just to sue the crappy, stale leggings off of them. I would, 100%. Like, that just... She's, like, pulling a now. She wants people to buy, buy plane tickets for even though she can afford it. Proves to you that they need my crappy content. If my content, if I have no content, then mm -hmm. what do you have? So you're literally inventing lies just to keep your hate hungry audience eating something because they have nothing nothing zilch no life we can see your roles in your your abaya pink star says if she's been with him for a year and has done this before she should know which way to pray exactly and blue daisy said it breezy i wonder if hpv is one of those communicable diseases kuwait denies visas for imagine getting kicked out because her kaka casanova gave her slut warts oh my gosh Oh my gosh. And what's your point? I'm fat. Does it look like I care? <laughs> Doesn't chicken kind of fall apart in the same places when it's cooked? How they were both legs were even. It's not like I up close. Like next time I'll up close okay. the skin to show you the skin placement. And some places it was curled up a little bit. She's losing her damn mind. 
if you literally film close-ups of chicken skin, I'm going to assume you need to be oh, admitted. God, I'm sorry. All right. Here's another one. Thank you, Kelly, for clipping this. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Like, I guess I didn't have to do this, but yes, I did. Luckily, people who are intelligent and have a life, they don't sit there and discuss dumb, weird, petty things and pick apart the life of somebody else and, like, make up lies and attack religions and, like discuss religions during Ramadan, how another how Muslims are worshiping when you're not even Muslim. I'm not going to waste all my money on trinkets when I can give it to the poor, which is what the spirit of Ramadan is about. It's about zakat and donating and praying. It's not about... It's about... What have you donated? I know you're pushing your cameo right now during Ramadan, though. Oh, how many fancy decorations you can... Especially put. for Easter, right? You were saying you could get it for Easter? In your apartment. Like... <sighs> People who know nothing have the most to say. I'm like, I'm new to this too. Like, you know, like I know it's like my second year, but still <laughs> like compared to somebody who was born and raised and, and taught Islam in a school, like I was raised Catholic, you know, the spirit of Ramadan isn't talking about others. Exactly. Exactly. There you go. People need to get off their high horses and stop being self-righteous. Like it's just insane. But people are hungry for drama, like super hungry for drama. That's all people Perfectly. want. Whatever, backwards, babe. I'm allowed. I'm not saying anything mean about anybody, so I'm gonna block you. Goodbye. Oh. Like another virtue signaler. I'm allowed to defend myself and Islam and talk about certain things if I want to. Mm -hmm. Did I insult any of these people? Yeah, they're ignorant and they look dumb when they say things that are not true. Every right to defend yourself. Sarah Jane said there are two main types of life insurance in Kuwait. Term life insurance offers protection for your loved ones for a specified period of time. Whole life insurance policies do not expire. And Nightmare said, hold yourself accountable. Yeah. I mean, Thank you, Sarah Jane, for sharing that. I mean, I'm not doing it in a super hateful way, lower, lowering myself to their level anymore, you know? Uh-huh. Doing something so immoral just to fatten your pockets. Like, do you know how much karma you're going to get returned to you? Like, but that's a blatant lie. I wasn't praying in the wrong direction. That's mostly what I wanted to prove. I do have an app. How do you guys even know I have, before accusing me, if I don't have an app or not? How, like, you don't know, sh you don't know anything. You don't know ish. You don't know anything at all. You were going to say shit, booty beauty. Especially about the religion. You Google things to find out. Like, get a life. <laughs> so do you. Are you going to judge how I look praying? That's so disgusting to make fun of somebody, like, in sujud position. And I'm honestly, like, so close to just getting on a plane and going to sue the crap out of you-know-who. Wow. Wow. All right, what is this one? And then, um... Can we make it bigger? And then, um... Yes, yeah, she did. She did Google Quran verses. I'll pray. Well, we'll pray. And then... Well, we have the iftar meal. And then after that, we have to pray Isha. My next prayer is that close to noon, a few minutes to noon. Let me check my app. <laughs> you don't even know? Usually I just hear the, that's what's good about living here. Like you can just hear the, the announcement, the call to prayer. And then, you know, to do your wudu and get ready. And so it shows you like all the prayers mm -hmm. of the day and the times. Okay, talking about religion, didn't Salah say he wanted to urinate on a Christian? Yes, he okay, did. Listen, that was something private, not public. That was something that's a, a fetish. It's not real. Okay. Anything to but fetishes are real. To do with fantasies, there's a reason it's called a fantasy. That's not real. You can't judge somebody based on a stupid fantasy. Okay. So, yeah. You can't, you don't know how to compare. Friendly reminder, he was asking her how much money she made, how many followers she had, and he wanted her to go there. <laughs> he even said that he loved her. Pair things, like no logic. And he's repented enough, he's dealt with it, like it's done, you okay. know? So you know, he might come, he might start making content again, but he's really, he's busy with other things now. Like He's not busy. He just said he's embarrassed to be seen with you. So he said he'll come back on the couple's channel when you get healthier. So that means never. He just wasn't really having that. Like, he likes to do the vlogs when we're traveling and stuff. But uh -huh. it's between him and Allah. Exactly. It's done with, you know. He has the biggest cage here. 
Okay, so stop coming in here with your virtue signaling and poor Howie. I'm not getting him a terrarium. Who taught her that word? I'm not getting him a bigger cage. So call the SPCA here in Kuwait. They're not going to give a crap and hate me all you want. Okay, block me out of your life if I'm such a bad person. All right, I'm not getting him a bigger cage. Poor Howie, boo-hoo, small violin. So, I can still be a B when I want to. He, yeah, he works a lot. When she was doing that, it gave me flashbacks to when she was being so disgusting about BBJ. Like, she's not going to leave in a box. She's going to, you know, um, when she would make those comments and about BBJ going in the wood chipper. Like, she's just gross. He doesn't have just his, his uh, other business as well. Mm -hmm. That's why they're zombies. They just sit there like, give us lies, give us drama, mm -hmm. hate. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. How did you know? Mm -hmm. Ooh, foodie okay. beauty. Give me hate. Give me hate. See, that's nice, but you don't have to come and rag on me for anything. I take care of my pets. And I remember every single lie and thing you said about Salah and I, and I will not forget it ever. So Oh, that's then... when she was um having a back and forth with Pissy Poo, who like came in the chat for a minute. And then she deleted her comment. But um, here is a here's a comparison of Foodie Beauty's weight. But Christy said, Foodie Beauty slash hashtag everyday Miriam, keep lurking and keep seeing that you're truly closer to 450 pounds than you are at 350 pounds. What a good year it has been for our girl. So this was what last year? Yeah, because there's her prayer rug. Yikes. It's a fancy tick right there. Fancy. <laughs> She's just vile. Honestly, she can look on um, Facebook Marketplace or really anywhere and get an aquarium that's bigger than Howie's cage and he would have much more room and be happier and he wouldn't get out. But um, I know he's probably just trying to run away. When the mask falls, it falls hard. She is horrible. She is. Her religion is just food. Food is her religion. Ooh, well said. She hates that Salah wanted to rub his balls on a cross with one of her breezers. You said breezers, but it wasn't with one of her breezers. <laughs> and shit on another woman. Exactly. I would be mad too. Um, let's see. So there was this channel with, like, I don't know, a bazillion subscribers. And um, this video is actually done really well. They started covering Foodie Beauty. But... Um, the creator's Brazilian, so we weren't sure. I, a lot of people weren't sure what the titles were. And Eri Pepperoni, it looks like, translated it. So it says, translating the Brazilian creator that reacted to Foodie. Title, The Sad Case of the Compulsive Liar TikToker. And then, look at how many views it has. You'll have to zoom in because it just went smaller on my end, but... And if I'm not mistaken, this person has like a couple million subscribers, maybe even more than that. It's a pretty big channel. Um, what does this say? Which a machine said, girl, you said you wanted to make so many Middle Eastern dishes. But when you but then you make Canadian comfort food, brown slop, beef stew. Why didn't you make a Middle Eastern dish? Further proof, Salah isn't eating your slop. You are alone. And if you missed this, she had like that giant bowl of stew and she ate like a lot of bread, a lot of bread. <laughs> In fact, she didn't stop eating it. Um, and then this person said she must be mad at Salah to keep that comment up. So this is a comment that was left for her. And it's Siggy Freud. They said, I watched you since 2017 when you were still with BB. I just want you to be happy, Chantal. No man is worth shit. I'm not saying Salah or anything. I mean, in general, if you ever decided to go back to Canada, you should understand how much support, not only from your family and friends, but fans, even haters, you would receive a lot of support morally and emotionally. No one wants to bring up your marriage with Salah. We only wish for you to have good health. And sometimes that means making a hard decision to leave a partner for a period of time. If someone truly loves us, they will understand and stick by us. God bless and may Allah guide you to a healthy future. And Foodie replies, thanks, Siggy. Appreciate the love. Well, I could believe it because have you seen her hand? I don't know if that's going to come up anytime soon. 
but I was wondering if she like punched walls. I think it's up. It is on up, up on my community tab. Maybe they were fighting and she punched a wall. And she, that's why she left the comment up. Um, Mrs. Floopa Booty said she could rage about which direction she swings her Fupa balls and comment on Missy M's channel all she wants. We won't forget who her fake bot husband really is. I figure another reminder can't hurt while we're a wee bit distracted. And the reminder is he wants to poo on people. He wants to pee on people. He wants to grate people and their Bibles. He wants their money. He wants women to go stay with him while his wife is away. Thank you so much for that reminder. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Matt Detective. Oh, wait, what happened? Did I miss something? Lisa, thank you so much for the super sticker. Oh, the lemon is so cute dancing. You're so sweet, Lisa. Greek girl said, F man, I need to be up in a two and a half hours, but I'm not even sleepy. I need to go soon too, though. I do too. Okay, let's read a few more tweets and then we'll come back tomorrow um, and cover anything. What did Yep Yep say? The bloody app was trying to tell you that Mecca was southwest of you, foodie beauty. Read the damn screen, mate. Yeah. I think she was still praying in the wrong direction, but truly like it doesn't make a difference to me, but I know us talking about this will like help to make her possibly rage tomorrow. So foodie, you were still paying in the uh, paying, probably paying to in the wrong direction, praying in the wrong direction. <laughs> um, people were talking about how she changed her thumbnail to FFG and Fondu Pondu said, hello at team YouTube. It's me again trying to report a cosplaying fake Muslim cyberbullying fellow YouTuber and making wait cyberbullying fellow YouTuber and making a mockery of Islam during Ramadan. Um, they also tagged the Ministry of Interior Kuwait. Ooh. Anyways, they said and making a mockery of Islam during Ramadan live from that place, Kuwait. Just wondering when you plan on addressing. Ooh. I don't know. I wouldn't want to be you, foodie. Alex Ashuk said, I feel like Ramadan makes Chantal rage <laughs> because she's not supposed to. It makes her want to do it more. Last year, one, if not her worst rage in Kuwait is March 23rd. Maybe. Yeah, that's it. She's raging because she can't eat as much. Well, at least not as freely. It's only a matter of time she selected the wrong poopy husband. And when she realizes she gave all her money away, great times. Okay, so this is her hand. Yikes. Yikes. I'm sure it's like it has to do with one of the multiple things going wrong with her body right now. But that's crazy to me that picture. <laughs> How much time does she have left? I assume she will do a visa run around her birthday. Well, people were saying she was due in March or April, so it should be any day. Amber Lynn Knuckles, yes. <gasps> JK, a holiday with food restriction? That doesn't work for her. No, and it never will. It never will. Blue Daisy said, good, she should be reported to Kuwaiti authorities. She's disrespecting and breaking the rules of an entire country and religion. True. JK, it's really good to see you, by the way. Um, Sarah Breezy isn't fat. Wait, what? No, I used to be, though. Well, I used to be really skinny, and then I got fat, and then now I'm a normal weight. But what did I miss? Yabba made a great point yesterday morning. Booty Beauty said we bully her because she's fat. Then she said all the reaction channels are fat. So how does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Beautiful Regret said, Not our court date is close to the end of this month. Interesting. I hope justice is served. I hope. I hope. Hugh said she's 5'8". And a, oh, you're saying about me. No, I used to be 5'8". I've shrunk with my back problems now. I think I'm like over 5'7". But somewhere in between 5'7 and 5'8". Um, this is Chucky, you guys. <laughs> Look at the little face. Chucky is in Santa Clarita and I'm in love. Hold on. Oh my gosh. You are tall, Chucky. You are so cute. So if you're looking to adopt, Chucky is on Pet Finder and in Santa Clarita. Okay, I had to share Limp Biscuit because this song was stuck in my head, Nookie, earlier, and I couldn't get it out. Um, what is this? Two-tailed caper said, 
I don't care for pissy poo, but pointing out how Harry's tiny cage is detrimental to his life isn't a petty judgment. Clearly, Foodie Beauty hasn't learned from her past mistakes and experiences with the cat's nails, matted fur, and poor living environments. Get Julia Spade, bitch, they said. And I guess this person, Pissy, said, change is shown with growth. These are the same replies you always give. Foodie says, oh, and would God be happy with you sucking up to Marty? And making petty judgments on how big someone's hamster cage is? It's wild to me these two are arguing. I guess if we're going to go there, you made a petty judgment about her dog, right? So I guess it's just two crazy people arguing with each other. <laughs> That's what that is. I still want a Russian dog to 20 pounds of dog. Oh my gosh, that's a big dog. That's a big dog. Imagine having to convince someone else is big to make yourself feel better. Whatever. If it makes Foodie sleep better at night to think that I have eight fupas like her, then I hope she sleeps like a baby. <laughs> like, let her think that. Lynn said dark knuckles could be caused by an underlining condition such as diabetes, which she has among multiple other things going on with her. Um, I don't know. Her hands have warts. They're changing color. She's getting dark spots. Her skin looks like it wants to explode. I mean, her whole body does. Um, but I mean, tomorrow she'll just continue eating. So good luck to her. I mean, what do you say? Um, damn it, Candy, but I love big dogs. I only have a 30 pound beagle though. That's why I don't think they'll be friends again because the Marty debacle. I think they both would be friends with each other again if they're not already friends and putting on a huge show for us all. I think those two are perfect for each other. Um, who the F is Charles Reed? He sounds fat. Foodie. So he is. <laughs> he is. <laughs> I love Mastiffs. They're so cute. They're like gentle giants. They are. The neighbors had them. <sighs> They're such beautiful dogs. They remind me of like giant pugs, though. I'm a pug person, too. Um, she's jealous of the numbers she pulls. Yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm going to go for now. I'm going to try and get some sleep. Um... But I hope you guys are having a great day, great evening, wherever you are. Thank you, mods. Thank you to the members. Thank you guys for the, gifting the memberships and the super stickers. They were so freaking cute. Thank you for even listening to me or liking this stream. I'm going to get some sleep. It's like 1241, and I will see you tomorrow for more foodie updates. All right, you guys, thanks again for hanging out with me. Bye, everybody. Bye.